Today we're going to turn a PNG into a vector graphics using a free software called Photopy. Photopy is an online based editor, so simply head to photopy.com. Then we need to drag and drop our PNG file. Drop it in this area and the program will start a brand new project with your file in. Now we simply need to tell the program that we want to convert this into vector graphics. So we can save it as SVG. Head to Image menu and search for Vectorize Bitmap option. Click on it and they will show you a preview. So on the left is the original raster graphics made of pixels and on the right it's our new vector based graphic made of curves and shapes. You can experiment with different features. You can limit the number of colors you got. In our case, I think we can reduce that to 12. We can reduce noise if there's like scan photo, for example. You can decide it should be a cartoon style or photo. But in my case, the photo gives me better results. You can also turn on the coloring book option. That's helping me out fill those wide areas. So I We'll keep this on, polygon. Seems like it's making the design a bit more squarish. So it's more square. As you can see, we've got only three dots here. That will help us to decide if we want to get fill. Do you want also strokes as well? And do you want extra labels on the left? Labeling the colors used in that design. It's going to be helpful if you plan for t shirt design and you want to limit your colors. I will go only with fill color. And I will click OK. As you can see, now I can have many layers on the right side. Each layer is for one shape. So let's zoom in really close. OK, so what do we have here? As you can see, we've got a collection of different shapes. Each one is a path, means we can scale it up without losing the quality now. We are not limited to this small size anymore. If I scale element up, it will be still sharp. Okay, we can also modify the color easily now because the layers are now separately. So this layer is only with the red color, as you can see. So I can recolor this image very quickly. So after you convert your PNG into SVG, it's way easier to change colors. Take a look. I turning this red flame into blue fla flame just in a moment and then we can search for this another layer here. Click on the image here and then we can search for the similar color we used before or we can pick the exactly same one using the color picker as well. Okay and we are done. We are not only turning our PNG into SVG, but we also make some color changes. To save it back on your drive, you simply head to File, Export as, and this time I want to keep it as vector, so I will select SVG as my format. You can even change the size of it because it's SVG. If we give it a double size, scale it up, it's still nice and sharp. That's the advantage of vector graphics. I click save and we are done. We just turn our raster PNG into vector SVG for free using Photopea. Let's learn more about this software in the next video.